Introducing Bloom. Bloom is for upscaling AI images and adding creative detail, lifelike texture, realistic faces. Anything can be made real with Bloom. Bloom is the perfect tool for upscaling. Start by uploading an image. Then you can choose the creativity level. Enter an optional prompt and choose how big to make your image. You can also choose how many images you want to output. Bloom works well with AI-generated images. With low creativity, Bloom uses as much of the original content as possible and enhances small details to make a very high-quality upscale. Pixelation is now a thing of the past. In this two times upscale, you can immediately see the amount of detail that was added to the image. You can also see the subtle variations between each output. These incredible images were created without a prompt at low creativity. We can achieve even more by giving Bloom a little direction. Prompts help Bloom create the right details within your image. In this example, we're starting with an illustrated image. We'll write the prompt by describing the image we want to create. By describing the image as hand illustrated, we're directing Bloom to keep it in the same style. All four of the outputs have some variation, but still look like hand-drawn images. Now let's reopen the source image and edit the prompt to see how it changes the results. Instead of being hand illustrated, we'll tell Bloom the output should be a hyper-realistic photograph, and we'll make the octopus slimy. You can immediately see the impact of the prompt. Now all the renders have a much more 3D and realistic quality. Bloom still sticks to the original concept of the image, but at higher creativity levels, the prompt has a significant impact on the output. Bloom has five creativity levels that impact how much reinterpretation can happen when your image is upscaled. Take this image of an alpine village. We'll add that it's winter to the prompt. Then we'll run it through all the creativity levels to see how it changes. You can choose between subtle, low, medium, high, and max creativity. We'll do one of each and then take a look at the results. Here's one special trick. If you increase the size of your upscale to four times, you can also enable creativity boost to see even more variation. Let's take a look at the results. At subtle creativity, there's more details, but it's very faithful to the original image. At low and medium creativity, we start to see greater variation from the original image, but still no snow. At high creativity, we get our first hint of winter with a few wisps of snow on the roof of the cabin. And at max creativity, our prompt starts having a major impact. More snow appears everywhere. We can take our creativity even further by remixing this image. In Bloom, you remix by using the output of a previous render as the source for a new image. Just click on the new button to get started. We can paste in our previous prompt and add a few more details. These images look great, but I still want more snow. There's this bald patch of grass right in the middle of the village. Let's pick the best one and then remix again. Now that's what I'm talking about. The whole village just covered in snow. You can see that remixing is a great way to get even more creativity out of Bloom. Now that our image is ready, we can share it with just a click. Anyone that opens the link will get a before and after comparison and can see the prompt you used. We hope you enjoyed this intro, and we can't wait for you to try Bloom. Start for free. Visit topazlabs.com slash bloom.